Today, I am going to be showing you how to do a spotlight reveal. This was a Facebook question, and I'm going to show you guys how I do it. So the first thing I'm going to need to do is I'm going to run over to Elements. I am going to grab me a square. I am going to change it to a black because that's the background color. If you want a different color, just use whatever color you're going to use for your overlay. So I'm going to use black because I want it to be like a reveal and everything's hitting underneath. So I'm going to make it the size of here, whatever my design is. And then what I want to do just to check, I'm going to put this over here for the second. And then I'm going to go into elements and I'm going to grab the photo that I use. So let's go into my recently used. I use this photo. So I'm going to apply this to the background. I'm going to set image to the background. And then I'm going to grab a circle. So what I want to do with this circle is I'm going to change it to white. And then I'm going to see the size of the circle I'm going to need to overlay over top of my images. And if it's the big, the right size, if I need to make it bigger, I need to make it smaller, we'll just adjust there. And then once I find that I have it where I need it, the size I need it to, what I'm just going to do is I am going to put it right in the center here. And then I am going to go into position and I'm going to take my background photo out for now. So I'm going to go in here, click it, um, detach it from the background, and I'm going to delete it. So now what I want to do is I'm going to take these together and then I'm going to grab it together, baby. Okay, so if it won't grab it like that, what I'm going to do is hit my control key and grab the other piece. Now I'm going to shrink this down like so. And then I'm going to go over to file, download. Now I'm in a video uh, design because this is going to be a video animation. So I want to download this as a PNG. So I'm going to make sure my file type is PNG. And then I'm going to download this. I don't need this page in this anymore. So what I can do is I can delete this. I'm going to bring in the one that I just made. So when that uploads, what I'm going to do is take the background remover, remove the background. I'm going to go back in and I'm going to grab my photo. I am going to set it as my background image. And now I have a circle. I'm going to make this small because I'm going to be moving it around. So I can go like here. Let me get this out of the way for you guys. And then I can move it around. But you see when I start moving around, sometimes I don't, that's going to not get covered. So how do we cover that part? So what I personally do is I'm going to go and verify before I start animation that when I move this around, everything is getting covered. So I'm going to go into elements. I'm just going to grab a square. I'm going to change it to black. And then I'm going to just go and put it along the edges of this. And I'm going to make them big like so. And then I am going to take this one. I'm going to duplicate it. I'm going to put it at the top here. And then what you're going to do is just fill in with squares. So when you start moving this around, and I'm going to make these kind of big just because I want to make sure that when I start floating this around, that I don't have any of that background picture showing. So this is just my style. Other people might do it other ways, but this is just the way I do it. So once I have that all together, I'm going to go into position. I am going to hold my shift key down. The top one is highlighted. My shift key down. Click on that. And then I'm going to group them together. And then I'm going to do a quick test. So I'm going to make it bigger. And then I'm going to start moving around and make sure that there is no photo whatsoever showing that I don't want showing. So all my pieces are covered. So see like here, if I go here, see how that piece right there is starting to show? So if I need to go in there and make adjustment to the box, well, maybe I'm not going there, so I don't have to worry about it. So you might have to adjust your top box because you see how that's going there. So that's something you might have to look at. So, but we're not going to worry about that for right now. That's just make sure you adjust your boxes around the sides that you have enough space to move around. All right, so we're going to go. I want to start off completely black. So hopefully I made a left room. So I'm going to start off black. So what I want to do now is add a page. No, nope, I don't want to add a page. Let's delete this page. So I am going to uh, duplicate this page. 
And my first one, I want to show the whole picture like it's a reveal. So I'm going to grab this in my layers and make sure you grab it in the layers because if not, sometimes that first one, it'll just grab one of the squares. You want it all to go. And I'm going to take the transparency all the way down. So I'm going to show you the whole thing first, and then it's going to go to black. And then I'm going to hit on my black one right here. And then I'm going to duplicate this page. And then I'm going to start moving my whole thing around till I get what I want. So let's say I want this image and then I'm going to duplicate the page. I'm going to go over to the next image. I'm going to duplicate the page and then I'm going to go over to the next image that I want. Let's say him and then I'll duplicate the page and so on and so forth. And then if you want to, after that, you can go ahead and add text. So I'm just going to cheat. And I'm just going to put a text box here and I'm going to put add a heading here. And then where'd it go? Oh, cause it's in black. Ooh, let's change that to a white so we can see it. There we go. And then I'm just going to go control C and then I'm going to go control, control V here. And if you want to add an, uh, any kind of animations to this, you can get, do that. And then control V here and we'll do, we'll move it here. And then control V here and you can add your text. And if you want to animate your text, you just go into animation and pick whatever animation you want. So let's go to the, the first one so we can see and we'll do a roll. And then once you have everything set up and moving around, we're going to go and adjust our timing. So I'm going to click on the first one. I'm going to put two seconds to enter across all pages. And I usually do that a couple times. Sometimes they don't adjust. And now with the new Canva, you got to hover over them to ensure it used to automatically show. Now you got to hover over them. Canva and their updates sometimes aren't the best and screw up a good thing. So now what I want to do is go in between my first two pages. I want to go over to match and move. I'm going to turn the duration all the way up. That's my preference. You can make it go slower, faster. That's up to you. And I'm going to apply between all pages. Now it shrunk my pages way down here. See there, these are like at one second. I want them to go faster. 1.5 looks good to me. So I'm going to go up here and do that again. I, well, we'll go back to two seconds since they all say two seconds. And I'm going to click that a couple times. And now we're going to watch through. And we're going to see this animation go. Hold on. Let me pause it for you for a second. Let's get that out there and make this bigger so y'all can see. There we go. That is so much better. Let's start over. And ready? Here we go. There you go. And it comes in. It goes down. It goes over. It goes down. And wonderful. And that is a reveal. Now, another thing you can do. That's up to you. Some people like to have it faded. So you can go into position, grab this, um, and just change the transparency. So where it's like spotlighted, and then this is just like darkened in the back. So you can kind of do that to all of them if you wanted to. You can go in here and just do those that away and just have it kind of faded. And then when you see it, it's like that. It's just faded, and th that's highlighted. So you can do that method too. Um, but the question on Facebook was completely black. So, and that's why I went with, with this animation. And you can also do a little thing. If you kind of want to make it a little bit funky, I would take the, the mask that you made right here and I would go and edit and maybe put on some shadows on it and see, Oh, look at that shadow. See, it looks kind of, Ooh, it kind of looks kind of more spotlight, spotlighty to me. If I do a, like a little shadow on it, just to give it up there. And that's how you do that. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Just be careful. Like when you're moving around, if you're going to do a lot of movement, if you're doing a little bit of movement, it might not be too bad. But just remember, you might have to add those extra squares around the edges just so when you start moving, you're not going to reveal some of your pictures from your movement. And that's how simple what it is. I am Michelle. I thank you for guys for stopping by, and I hope to see you on the next one. Bye, y'all.